everyone, today I have a Dollar Tree haul. I went to Dollar Tree today specifically for one thing, but I wanted to see what they had, anything new. I love watching Dollar Tree hauls here on YouTube and when I need to start making lists because when I go I completely forget like everything that I wanted to look for. Uh, but I did find a couple of things that I was seeing other people haul that I wanted to see if I could find at my local Dollar Tree and I did find some of the things. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. I will start with the beauty stuff first since that is like everybody's favorite, mine too. Um, so I found these fruit scented lip balms that are shaped like little fruits. And I think there's like three of them. Uh, I think there's an apple, a lemon, and I want to say strawberry. But my store did not have any of the strawberry. They only had apple and lemon so I got the two that they had so this one is the apple one and I'm gonna open these up because I'm curious to see what they smell like and stuff like that um, I don't think I've seen a video yet of anyone um, kind of saying what they thought of these lip balms but the packaging themselves are just so cute like this looks like legitimately like a little apple like play food that you know you would have played with when you were little playing like kitchen and stuff like that. Very cute packaging. So when you open it, okay this is not what I was expecting at all. Um, I was kind of expecting like an EOS kind of balm that maybe it was like um, like a sphere on top that you just you know put on your lips like this but you definitely have to stick your finger in that. You know it's just like a pot of lip balm. I was not expecting that. Um, now I just painted my nails so this is going to be hard to describe the smell accurately because I kind of just smell nail polish which is not good. But I don't smell an overly strong scent of apple at all. I'm going to just touch it and sniff it some more. Okay I do start smelling it now that I put my finger in it. It's not, it's not a bad smell. I already have lip gloss on, so this isn't going to be the best review, but no, I definitely do smell the apple, and the gloss itself, it is more like a gloss. Once you put your finger in it, it gets to be like a shiny, clear gloss, um, as opposed to like a lip balm. I think it is kind of more like a glossy balm, so that's nice. What did I do with that packaging? So yeah, I think I think that's kind of cute even though I was not expecting it to be that way when I opened it. I do I do like it. And so I also found the lemon. And now I'm just like really curious like the strawberry. I'm guessing it's the, it's strawberry because on the packaging it shows lemon, apple and strawberry. So I think the other one's strawberry and I'm going to have to check out some Dollar Trees to see if I can find that somewhere. This is a lemon and again, these look so much like the fruit that they depict. Like the lemon even has like the little, um, I don't know what you want to call it, like the skin looks like, you know, a lemon peel. It would it be peel, not skin, lemon peel. Is that the word I'm looking for? Not lemon skin. Okay. They are a little hard to open. They kind of open like those plastic Easter eggs like you get at Easter. And that one looks like this. And I'm going to stick my finger in. and Because I, I can smell it better once I get like the oils rubbed around. And this one too. It does have a, a nice lemon smell. I was afraid it would smell like kitchen floor cleaner like pine salt or something like that, but it does have a really nice smell. It smells like a lemon candy. So overall, I think these are really cute. I think that they would be great stocking stuffers. Very cute stocking stuffers. So I like those. Um, another thing that I found that I was seeing other people haul were these Yes to Carrots. This is the travel pack of uh, shampoo and conditioner. And it says on here these retail for $3.99. I'm sure probably at like Target or something like that. So for a dollar, I think that's a great deal. Again, this would be a perfect stocking stuffer because this is like a name brand item. And 
These are perfect for like traveling or just trying out the product itself. It says for normal to dry hair. So I'm going to open that and sniff it because I have to smell everything. And I'm sure you guys probably wonder as well what it smells like. When I'm thinking yes to carrots, I am thinking that this is going to smell like carrots. But I'm hoping that it doesn't. So anyway, they didn't have a whole lot of these left. It smells good. It does not smell like carrots at all, which is nice. It does have like a nice smell though. So like I said, this is um, a great deal for a dollar. And I found these not necessarily with the other shampoos and stuff like that. These were hung up where like they sell like the body sponges and loofahs and like the little body exfoliating gloves and stuff like that. So if you're having a hard time finding these, try checking in that section because that's where I found these. Okay, um, more beauty related stuff. I've been seeing that they had these Nivea creams and I didn't pick one up, but since winter is pretty much here, my hands have been getting extremely dry. I like to try different things. Some things work, some things don't. Um, it's upside down. Oh, sorry. Well, now this part's upside down. See, I was trying to read it. But it says, Nivea cream is the original skin moisturizing cream. Helps your skin stay soft and supple. So, I figured I'd try this, you know, just on, like, mainly, like, my rough, dry patches that I get on my hands. I work, I have an office job. I work with paper all day. And it just, like, completely takes all the moisture out of my hands. So I'm going to open this and give it a sniff because I've never smelled this stuff. Mmm, it smells really, really nice. It's sealed, which is which is good, so then you know people aren't like sticking their jabby little fingers in it before you buy the product. So that's nice. I'm just going to put a little bit on. It's a very nice, creamy, um, thick product, so that's nice. So I'm just going to put some on and see how it feels feels good too. It's not greasy and it has a nice soft um, scent. So I like that. I'm going to take that to work with me. What do you want? My dog's just staring at me like, what do you have? Why don't you have anything for me? <laughs> she just got a bath. She's not happy. Okay, I found these and I don't know if these are new to you guys but I hadn't seen them in my Dollar Tree. They had a ton of these but a lot of the times with Dollar Tree makeup they usually only get in like one shade of something depending on what it is and the only shade I could find in this was Scorching Brown. They didn't have any like black or anything like that. But this is the Maybelline Master Smoky Eye Pencil. It's so basically it's an eyeliner and then the other side it has a smudger on it to, you know, give you the smoky look. Normally, I use black eyeliner, but I always wanted to try brown. So, I'm going to try it out and see how it works. So, you can't go wrong with finding name brand makeup at Dollar Tree. So, I'm going to swatch it for you guys, show you what it looks like. It is like a chunkier kind of eyeliner. It's not like a real thin. And that's what it looks like. Very pigmented and it went on really creamy and smooth. So I think that's going to be a nice eyeliner. And then the other side has your sponge tip applicator. And then you can just use it to smudge it on out. Like so. So great deal on that. Again, if you're buying Christmas gifts for a beauty addict person in your life, Dollar Tree, great place to find name brand products to stuff their stockings with. So the last beauty product I found, and they had a couple different shades of these. These were the Maybelline Eye Studio eyeshadows. They had this one, which is in the shade Mocha Mirage. And they also had a blue one and a green one and blue and green are two colors I wouldn't wear but this one's more of a neutral color so this is something that I would totally wear so I only bought this one but I'm going to open it up and 
do a swatch of it, show you guys what it looks like. So it's basically like a double, a, it's basically a duo eyeshadow. It has two different colors in it. And you can like mix them or just wear one or the other side. So I'm just going to do a swatch of each side and show you guys what they look like. Um, first one is the more, um, the first one is the more brown color and the second one is like the one that has like the pink sheens in it. Okay. So that is all I got in the, um, makeup section. I was looking, I needed to buy some more of the Sassy and Chic nails, but they didn't have many to choose from and I didn't like any of them. So I didn't get any of those. Um... The main thing I went to Dollar Tree for was for new flowers to put at my mom's grave site. I wanted to get some Christmas ones to replace the like fall colored autumn-y ones that I had. Um, so I got some Christmas themed ones. These ones are red and they have little hollies in. And then I got a like grassy stem thing here that has like gold little berries on it so I put together well my boyfriend helped me put together this bouquet and then I also got a gold glittery butterfly um, like a clip on thing um, that I'm going to clip onto one of the leaves if you watched one of my other Dollar Tree hauls where I got my autumn colored flowers I showed you the bird that I got to put on I like putting a little something with it so these were all you know different picks so I had to buy them all separately, but then I put them together in a little bouquet. So those are the ones that I chose for Christmas. Um, I got a thing of this before. This is the Javalia Iced Coffee with Almond Milk. I got a vanilla one a couple hauls back, and I really liked it. This stuff was good. It was creamy. It had a nice flavor. I really, really liked the vanilla one. And I wanted to find the caramel, but when I found the vanilla one, they only had vanilla and mocha. And today, I actually found a caramel, and it was the only one on the shelf. So, I picked it up, and I'm hoping this one is just as good as the vanilla, because it definitely was really tasty. So, I got that. And then the last food item I got was this box of... This is just the Old Dominion Dipped Peanut Brittle. And I love peanut brittle. It is so delicious. And I have never had like a chocolate covered peanut brittle. These are legit. They are delicious. I already almost ate the entire bag and I just got them. You don't get much though. For a dollar, this is the bag you get and it's not very full at all. Um, the pieces are about yay big. They're not real big pieces. That's what's left of my bag. <laughs> I will probably have the rest of these demolished by the end of the night. But this is really good. So if you like peanut brittle and chocolate, you'll definitely love these. So again, nice stocking stuffer for someone who, you know, likes peanut brittle. I don't know. I've always liked peanut brittle. I think it, it's just yummy. It's just yummy, but you can't have any. Mm-mm. Alright guys, that is my Dollar Tree haul. It's, I didn't get a whole lot, but I am excited for the stuff that I did find today. What are you looking at? Um, so I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you thought of the things I purchased. And I will see you next time.